Now 4-1, the final Wheeling defeats Toledo for the first time this season in the Huntington Center. The Nailers come away with a victory as we welcome you back here to the Huntington Center. Matt Melzak alongside my broadcast partner, Rob Rosinski. And Rob, as we take another look back on this game tonight, uh, the, certainly Toledo got no help tonight with the breaks. There's no doubt about that, and it all started in the first two minutes. Yeah, real quick power play opportunity for Wheeling. You see that shot and a little deflection and a, a good break for them. And, you know, next thing you know, you know Wheeling's got the lead, and then, uh, you know, they, they turn that into a 2 nothing lead after one. Yeah, and Toledo had... Their opportunities couldn't dent the scoreboard in the first, and it would be Wheeling who would do so late in the period on this goal from Sylvester. Ended up being our player of the game, Rob, with that one right bar down, as they say. You know, great shot there. A couple of great shots tonight from Wheeling. That, it, you know, I know Kyle Rogers didn't really want to go into too much detail on it, but it certainly was a good goal there that just wasn't credited the way for Toledo. Yeah, and you're right, Matt. If you know, 2-1 and you know, the goal disallowed, and next thing you know, here comes the, the the third goal for Wheeling. And I really think that was kind of like the critical few minute junction of the game where, you know, Toledo could have come back, you know, hey, bat right back in it, but then uh, you know, it's a big deal, big difference in the second period from a one goal deficit to a three goal deficit. Yep, and uh, you saw Russ Sinkowicz's goal in there, made it 3-1 in the third period. Toledo early chances. That one from Kyle Rogers, if it sneaks through, maybe a different game. Another one as well from Bobby Shea coming up in a moment where he hits the crossbar right there, Rob. Yep. Uh, certainly a couple opportunities could have had us in a tie game. Yeah, and, and then Caruth, you know, makes a great save on the penalty shot uh, to, to keep him in the game too. But then uh, next thing you know, there's, there's that shot by Johnson, and uh, that was all she wrote. Yeah, and then... So Toledo drops the first one. Remember, they're playing, starting a stretch tonight with five games over the next six here at the Huntington Center. That drops to four out of the next five, Rob. And right back here at the Huntington Center tomorrow night against the Reading Royals. So it, they've, they played better here at home. So an opportunity to still get this thing rolling in the right direction if they can get uh, out early against the Reading Royals, which I think is going to be a big key tomorrow. Yeah, and if you're taking a look at you know the teams ahead of them, Matt, you get a little bit of a roll here. You put a, you string a few games together. Next thing you know, you're right back in that chase. It starts with one game though, and that's got to start tomorrow night. Yep, and uh, th something to keep in mind: Toledo has won a couple in a row a couple times this year. They have yet to get to three in a row. So you figure once they break through that, maybe they can really get rolling. They have that one game at Evansville coming up in the middle of the week and then back home for Friday and Saturday next weekend as well. So uh, the chances are in front of them if they want to get something rolling, even with the shorthanded roster, they could certainly do it right now. You know, and you're playing a team that you, you just lost back-to-back -back games in their barn and they're coming back here and you've had some success against them here. So uh, good chance to get up for a game and uh, hopefully we'll see a, a better start uh, once the puck drops tomorrow night, Matt. And hopefully we'll see everyone out here tomorrow night. The uh, Toledo Walleye will play host of the Reading Royals. Get your tickets now at ToledoWalleye.com. Well, that's going to do it from here at the Huntington Center tonight. For my broadcast partner, Rob Wersinski, and our entire crew, my name is Matt Melzak. Once again, your final score, Wheeling 4 and Toledo 1.